mentioned something about doing a weight gain challenge so whoever can eat the most amount of food and gain the most amount of weight after Murph till 10 o'clock at night wins the challenge oh, what's up dude okay I brought you a gift I'm supposed to do an unboxing video so maybe if we if we're able to do that roll the footage what do we got oh Oh, the hot Americans. Just in time for Memorial Day or July 4th coming up. Get them. Look at them. There you go. There the you go. The hot American. Wow, hot. I like that paint splatter. The paint splatter is dope. <laughs> they got this new spot. I think this is their like fourth, fifth maybe location. Oh, that's nice. Before you check in, pretty neat. Mikey Casu, the Kazuyuk, that's my boy right there. Look at all the color coordination, isn't that neat? Yeah, it's very brand, very nice, very uh, sleek. They got pictures of members on the wall, neat. They got a rig with their name on top, neat, neat. So much crossover symmetry, that's neat. Yes, they got red check, isn't that neat? They also have no rope drag. Yeah, they just circumcised it. Prowlers, neat. You want a foam roller? Musical rollers. Oh, see, Throwdown, first place. That's one that you want to save right there. That's a good one. You need a place to sit down? Oh, hi, honey. We're no longer high-fiving. We're fist bumping. Swipe up. Get it. Probably just a 50 cows. 50 cows? It's been a while since I've been on one of these. Got the gym sharks on. How's that new new? I got this stretchy shirt. Because I plan on getting bigger. Pick me up with this new sweatshirt. I think they just launched it. Swipe up, get some, probably link in the details. I've only done one weighted Murph ever. And it messed me up so bad that I couldn't do pull-ups for several think, months after. Clean your shit, you know? Well, this is where I'm gonna go. I know, yeah, well, you wipe it down before you get there. Before? Yeah, but before and after. Yeah. Maybe they didn't clean it, you know, I trust myself. You do? I don't, I don't always trust I don't anyone even, else. I don't trust myself sometimes. Yeah, oh that's God. fair. I bet there's a go on flow for this. A flow? Yeah, Should we go wide flow? I recommend you cut out a good portion of yeah, your shirt I'm, I'm to get some good air flow, you know? I'm gonna go this. So and and I would recommend... Things. Definitely wear a top if you're doing the body armor. Yeah, because this thing... It'll, it'll turn you into a Haley Adams back bruise, you know what I mean? Remember it? I didn't even feel it, actually, until I got an ice bath. So if you go to go wide, search Murph, boom, all my movements are in there, generate my protocol. No way. Good to go. All right, what are we doing? Hamstring roll for one minute each side. Man, I feel like a butterfly. Ooh. Caterpillar just had me. Power stance, check it out. We should have a goal for 2020 to be able to get to the bottom of a split. You don't achieve splits by seventh, eighth grade. It ain't gonna happen. Dude, don't, don't limit me, bro. Yeah? Yeah, don't. Which way are you saying? Are you saying you do it this whole spread eagle? Or are you trying know. to go I don't know. The hey, hit us back. in the comments. What's the easier way to do a split? Is it, is it front facing and is this front facing? I feel like you're front facing, you're sitting on your nuts, man. That's, I can yeah. display them outwards if I go this way. Oh, uh, okay. So it's pretty standard that the... Uh, that you go 20 pounds for men, I think it's 14 pounds for women, right? Yeah. So I've got 10 in the front and 10 in the back. One, two, three. My fastest time on this, I think it's 36 minutes. 36? That's oh. like BKG speed, huh? I mean, in the dead yeah, of he, summer. Did he did it in the dead of summer with on, on partition. Today's gonna be a very different story. If I do right around 40 minutes, I'll be happy. Under 50. All right, ready? Yes, sir. 
You ready to roll, bro? Let's go. Oh, man. Do you want to kick us off here? You guys ready? Uh, Three, two, one. Let's get it. Go! We got a headwind here, boy. We're doing Murph because... Well, I mean, Murph was a Navy SEAL that sacrificed himself for the greater good of his teammates. And it's Memorial Day weekend. A lot of people in the CrossFit community get together and they do Murph. Hey, girl. The community gets together and does this out of respect and honor of military servicemen. This year, we're also going to include in that those on the front lines dealing with COVID-19. Only 18 rounds to go. This is our way of saying thank you and really appreciate the uh, service and all the people out there that have sacrificed their lives for the greater good. And we're just here to uh, suffer in a lot less way, but in ways to uh, pay thank you. There's just no way to really get used to carrying that amount of weight while running. Nope. We came in at about eight minutes, eight and a half minutes. And I was like, okay, cool. If I do a round a minute, I'll be out the door at around 30 minutes. You were planning on doing a round a minute. Yeah, I mean, doing doing Cindy, I do like two a minute. But that's no vest and that's- Not after a mile run. Not after a mile run. Murph is, you do a mile run. 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups, 200 air squats, mile run. You can either do it on partition, you can do it just like that, or you can break it up however you want. I think we're gonna do 20 rounds of five pull-ups, 10 push-ups, 15 air squats. I'm out of shape for this. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's been a minute since I've been doing that many squats. The knee is looking good. I still got this nub. Look at the nub. I'm massaging this bitch. It's about to go away. I was feeling just like a sweat monster just disintegrating on the floor there. Yeah. And I just kept looking over at you and I was looking at the little chalk lines and I was like, shit, he's got less chalk lines. And then I noticed you had one left to go and I had five rounds left. If you've never done Murph or you haven't ever done a workout of this capacity, definitely build up to it. Skill is needed. This is about just getting the work in for me. He's trying to send a Land speed uh, record. I'm not trying to, yeah, I'm not trying to PR today. Goals for quarantine have been to grow these bad boys. Are they getting bigger? Oh shit, I forgot my shit. And I was legit worried about you, because I did- Three laps? Three before. and a half laps before I saw you. That was tough, 45, 35. I'm not even sure the time I got. The lady turned off the watch, so 55-ish. 55-ish, I was 45-15. Um, not my fastest time, not my best showing, but that's okay, that's not, what I'm, that's not my goals right now. Yeah, know? man, just trying to get through it. Just happy to be. Just happy to be here. Running around, driving butter trucks, whatnot. Oh. That was so hard. You crushed me, Heber. One game win streak. Like five rounds. But considering he just had surgery, that's pretty damn good. So I was like 54? Yeah, I think we started about 10 minutes after we started our whoop. Shout out to all you servicemen, all you on the front lines of COVID, all of you first responders, everyone that takes care of us regular day folk. Yes, sir. This is your gym. Yeah, it is. It's real yeah. neat. Been trying to get you to come here and check yeah, out this neat place. No, this neat place. <laughs> we went through. We, went, we talked yeah. about the neat things. Yeah, we uh, when we moved in here. It was like there was walls here. None of this was here. Like our bathrooms and stuff. We had to build it all. And COVID happened, and it was yeah, right when you we opened. Opened for three weeks, and then we shut down. So we opened for one week, normal. Two weeks was like limited class sizes, and then we got shut down. So what do you, yeah, what do you do for precautions now? Yeah, what so, are you doing you know, now? Have, if you look on the floor, we have every we have on the floor we have marked out every 10 feet so everybody has to go with their spots and their workout. We're trying to get everybody to stay uh, as much like spread apart as they can, 10 to 6 to 10 feet, those kinds of things. Uh, coaches are wearing a mask. We try to make sure the coaches are doing that, um, wiping everything down, obviously. We wash probably like two loads of towels every day. But we actually had a few members reach out like 
offering money to help us pay rent and to help us, you know, extra. And I was super surprised that obviously we didn't take any of that, but it was just CrossFit community, man. CrossFit community is unlike anything else. So it's been fun. We got our backs. Yep, we do. All right, we're gonna talk about Whoop right now. What kind of strain does Murph give you? 12.8. I would have thought more. 12.8. What was your max heart rate? Max heart rate was 179. Knocked him on the door of 180. Yeah, likewise. We we sorry, synced up on a cycle. Synced up on them cycles. Yeah, the menstrual. Uh, max heart rate 179. I burned 761 calories. Damn. 15.6 day strain. Let's talk about the butter gang. Butter gang. Talk about them. I'm gonna do an average strain for the week. Gerhold von der Murray. Yeah, get uh. girl, 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 girl. Von der Murray. Twenty point five day strain, four thousand nine hundred and eighty four calories. On average. This guy, uh, this guy goes hard, man. You go hard to paint. If you swipe to the right, there's Lindsay Lee. She's the most recovered on average. Ninety nine percent recovered. Man. Lindsay, how you doing? It. What are you doing? You take CBDs? THC pills. B A B C A S. Uh, you eat red steaks every night? Drink that yellow wine? What are you doing? Yellow wine? I don't know. They different, I don't drink. <laughs> <laughs> what are the different colors? Do they mean something? There's, there's red what and kind white. Of spectrum do there's they two. Have? There's red and there's white. There's no yellow wines, okay? Red vinegar? I don't know. Uh, Alright, we're gonna give a pair of these strains away. Strains? Shoot! <laughs> we're gonna give away a pair of these hot Americans to whoever has the highest activity strain for, whoop, for Murph. Yes, for Murph. So, so you you gotta be doing Murph. Take a video of yourself doing it, tag us, tell us what your strain was. Highest yeah. strain on the butter gang gets do a, there. Do a whoop live selfie. Yeah, whoop live so selfie. So it should look like this. I'll do it right now. Whoop. Whoever has the highest strain, films it, takes a selfie on whoop live, tags I, us. We'll get better with the hot Americans. We are going to do a challenge. How much weight can we put on in 10 hours? I'm at 160.2. Damn, I remember when I weighed that in eighth grade. 12.30, we're gonna go till 10 o'clock tonight. So nine and a half hours. How much weight can you put out in nine and a half hours? 160.2, dog. Gotta reset. I bet you I'm in the 180s. Here we go. Shoes on? Got it, shoes on. Shoot your shoes off. 184.5. Mm -hmm. Remember when I weighed that much when Dan Bailey gave me diabetes? No. Oh, life's so cold. Lukewarm love just took it to the stove. Okay, but you, you did it without a shirt? I did no shirt. Okay, so, so you can't wear so a shirt tonight? No shirt. I had tape in my pocket. Where do you start when trying to put on weight? What kind of food? Are you doing like Chinese food? I think I'm going straight to Panda Express? Get some orange Get some chicken. MSG. Get some MSG. I really hold it. It knocks down the bowels. You know? I got a meat problem. Steaks? Steaks, that's pretty heavy. Some Cafe Rio. Cafe Rio, yep. Maybe a barbecue chicken pizza. You hungry? Yeah, let's go get some food. Let's put on some weight. Dude, how many, how much pounds is realistic though? You're saying two pounds, three pounds in, in, in 10 hours or what? I don't know, but it's science. This is not an example of health. This is, this is just purely for scientific research. And uh, he, sometimes he you have to damage more, your body. This isn't a scientific uh, double blind study or nothing, but. All right, let's get it. Let's, let's go. Ah. Stop one. So we're at Hires. Hires Big H is a local joint. Owned by my neighbors growing up. Best burger in Salt Lake City, hands down. Dang, dude, Oreo shakes. Oh, yeah, this looks like weight gain right there. Trying to gain a figure, you know what I mean? Oh. Trying to put on curves, on curves, on curves. <laughs> you know how they have that gym called uh, Curves for Women? Yeah, bulges for Men? Yeah, we should make one called Bulges for Men. I'm gonna gain so much more weight than you. I, for one, I've got a bigger frame to put weight onto. You got this little uh, you know, chicken you know, cutlets. Because we're putting on weight, it's a science experiment. Gotta fit the profile, you know what I mean? Science. Also, I didn't know what these were, but I figured they were science related. Ain't no way this boy is gonna eat more than me or put on more weight than me. You're like freshman weight, you know what I mean? Whoa. I've kind of slowed down. This is quite a bit harder than I thought. Wow. Right. Guys, you're in trouble, bro. You have been eating all day long. I kind of want to step on a scale now to see where we're at. You got to bike up there and then come down. I can't walk. I got to conserve my calories, bro. I've been also taking some hard, hard sight. <laughs> Almost thrown up three times, but I'm a man who sticks to his principles. Daddy, you can do it. Daddy, you can do it. 
here. Thank and you. a biscuit. <laughs> Can I get a uh, burrito? You keep eating until you finish that bowl. That's when you can stand up. Right, dog? Daddy has to eat. Mm. Daddy has to eat. Oh, Daddy has to eat. Do you feel it? Just... <laughs> He's walking in. Go put your shoes and socks on. Marsh is in, in his third trimester. <laughs> We're expecting. <laughs> Ladies, you're going to feel a little pressure. Dude, you look plump. You guys. You're looking plump as fuck too. What are you talking My about? My shoes aren't tied, so don't judge me on it. Yeah. <laughs> what? I'm pretty sure you're wearing your, your sleeveless Gymshark shirt. Gosh, tell me what you ate. I've had a 32 at least ounce Diet Coke, a Diet Dr. Pepper, a large pizza, and two slices of another kid's pizza. I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> um, and then a burrito from Cafe Rio. I'm so uncomfortable. In the right last now. like hour. An entire medium pizza from Papa Murphy's. Cooked it myself in the Traeger. I had corn on the cob. It became off the cob. <laughs> Two sausages, okay. portobello mushroom, salmon burger, and a fucking wedding cake, okay? And? and a bowl of cereal. Oh, I'm oh I, should, I was, I was 160.2. 160.2. I'm so uncomfortable when I haven't eaten this much. 168.9! <laughs> <laughs> you gotta regain the weight. 8.9 pounds since what? Two o'clock? It's actually really scary, but that's even possible. That's why you just. 8.7? 184 and a half, I'm pretty sure. Has this been calibrated? 184. 0.5, yeah. 194.6. Oh! I don't know where this much sits. College, man. <laughs> He beat me in Murph, but I got him on the weight test. Does it show? <laughs> the weight test? Did you puke? Don't go out to the street, though. Did you? <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. You took it out. You took it out. Yeah, it's, it's just, out of the street. It's, just, not, it's not your problem. That's the street meat. I gained yes. 10 pounds. Yeah, well done. Well done. I thought my eight was going to be unbeatable. I feel like my wow. spleen's pressing up against my thyroid or something. All right, that's the end of our show today. Everyone Marshall loses. 1. Marshall 1, yeah. Do you think you could do... 10 pounds, I gained, I gained a pound an hour, I think. Well done, yeah, a pound an hour, yeah. I, was, I was eight. Okay, sorry. Man, I'm uncomfortable. I feel better. You do? Yeah, it's getting better by the second. Yeah. I feel like I can go for a... I'm really glad we didn't do the chip cookies. Yeah, dude, that would've been bad. He's like, should I go buy chip cookies on the way home? We offered you crumble. What are you looking at? You're good! <laughs> what about... Does it make you feel uncomfortable? Yeah. It's not making us comfortable. We're, we're checking up Donatello. I'm, I'm full on sweating right now. Yeah? Is it hot in here? No. no. It's not hot, no.